Hey, what's up all you action figure lovers out there? Master Marvel's back at it once again, bringing you guys another little trip through my toy room. Uh, before I get into this video, I just got to say that this is for adult collectors only. This isn't for kids. There might be foul language, you know, who knows. So uh, let's just keep this for adults only. Uh, so yeah, let's just take a trip through here, man. Uh, it's been a while since I did an update. We're uh, in the fourth month of the year. Got a lot of new stuff. And uh, yeah, my camera, my, <laughs> my shelves are just crazy right now. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and flip cam so that we can see everything. So here we go. All right. So this is a new shelf that I added in here recently. Got my little Superman down there. Rocking some Thundercat <laughs> medallion. So yeah, this shelf just got put together, I don't know, a few weeks ago. I got me some Fortnite up here. Banging. I've never played the game at all, but I love the figures. They're just so freaking cool, man. And I got a few of them still that I haven't reviewed yet, and there's a couple of them. Some stragglers out there that I don't have yet, but I'm working up to it. When I find them, I usually pick them up. This is pretty much like my baddies here. The dyer's pretty dope. Totally love the McFarland stuff right now. So down here is my DC, and you know, got a couple added to it. Uh, still need a couple from the first wave of these to come out. I need the Batman Who Laughs and the uh, Batgirl. Got everybody else. Got Arrow back there. Some One Punch Man. <laughs> Love the Superman, he's freaking dope. The bloodshot's pretty cool. And down here, got my neck of turtles. Looking pretty awesome. Still waiting for the new ones to come out. I guess if they are out, I haven't seen them yet, otherwise I can get them. Then another NECA, pretty much horror and pop culture shelf. I got some Godzilla back there, but it's just too dark to see. I do have one McFarlane on this shelf, just because I guess it fit. And that's right there, Jareth from the Labyrinth. Yeah, I don't have too many NECA figs, but, you know, I'm doing all right. Then I got some Jazzware 6-inch Fortnite down here. Again, probably can't see much. Let's see if I can put some light on that for you. There we go. See a little bit better now. These are pretty dope. I like them. It's really... Cool selection of characters. And, uh, I don't know, they're just fun figures. Good articulation. So, that's that shelf. Took me a while to put that one together. And then I got some... I had the whole set of these Stranger Things at one time, and I sold them, and I was like, man, why did I do that? So I'm, I'm working at getting them all back. Got some random Marvel Legends up here. But we'll probably get back to those. I'm going to go around this way. Uh, down here, that's stuff I still need to review. There's some more of those Fortnite figures. The Shin Godzilla I'm going to be reviewing. Got my old He-Man lunchbox there. and Deadpool. With some... 
random Deadpool figures on there. Got me a Joker. Just some art, pictures and stuff, poster. Picked these up recently, these Street Fighters. I used to have the Funko uh, Thundercats up there, but took them out. Those probably won't, these probably won't stay here long either. Uh, these have been here forever. These DC Multiverse cla uh, cinematics, whatever. Probably going to be picking up these other two here soon. The Super Friends set. Still need two of those. I need the Flash from these. Then I got some Masters of the Universe over here. Up in the windows. Carded still. Got some shit back here hiding. And then moved back. Got me a castle. Some 2000X style stuff. Sorry about that freaking light, man. Let's see if this helps for a second. Yeah. Pretty cool. So the miscellaneous Masters of the Universe stuff. Then I got a whole other side over here with some of the loose figures. And I got some carded. 2000X stuff. Or go here. Some of these Meg Instructs, which I, I, I've, I've almost got all of these, but this is maybe the only one that I have on display in here because I took all the other stuff to the basement. There's some Super 7 He-Man. And there's these Loyal Subjects back here, which I got them all carded here and got a loose set of them down here. And I got some Dragon Ball statues. And other little figures and stuff. So that's one area showcase right there. And that light, those lights are probably killing you. Let me see, I'll try to kill this one real quick. All right. So yeah, here's another window. I got some wrestlers down here. The uh, loyal subjects. I don't have many of them, but you know. Then this whole set so far, minus the single sold single sold ring. I don't have it. It just seems pointless. But you know, wave one and two. Got my little throne there from the primal age figures. <laughs> Alright, let me get this light back on now. Uh, over here, got a little s steel from that from the Death of Superman movie. Old school Batman. Newer Batman by Mattel. And I got these mini World's Smallest Transformers, which are pretty cool. These things just came out. Pretty awesome. Some more... DC stuff, Batman and Superman here. A little picture in the background with me and my kid and Pixel Dan. That was a pretty cool day. Superman and Batman from the Injustice game. There's some DC goodness up here. Pretty much all multiverse. There's a couple DC Universe figures in there. Just thrown in, but mostly multiverse stuff. It's not a bad shelf. But I'm still working on get, collecting some of those. They were hard to get, a lot of them. And then here, let me get my light back out. I might need it. We got some uh, cinematic figures. Be like our Justice League style. So That's pretty cool. Then below here we got the baddies. Yeah, 
that. Like I said, I don't have everybody, but, you know. Okay, so over here, we've got the DC Direct, or DC Collectibles, Batman and Ninja Turtles set. These are pretty awesome. And got the little Mikey back there with the cowl on. And then down below, by guys, not many of these yet. These are the NECA turtles. <laughs> Still need at least three of them. They're pretty awesome. I love these turtles. Then I got some uh, McFarlane uh, Hero Academia. These are really cool figures. I think that's all of them except for the variant of uh, All Might. Then we got some more McFarlane here. We got the Harry Potter set. It's a pretty cool Voldemort there. It's alright. And then below we got some Marvel Legends. Just kind of needed just overflow figures that I needed to stick somewhere. Probably ain't seeing these very good. There we go. Yeah. And then over here we got some more. Pretty awesome. Then up here we've got some Mortal Kombat and Doom. Which the Doom will be replaced as soon as I finally get the spawn figure. These are pretty awesome figs. I like them. I love what McFarlane's doing. There's some improvements that need to be made, especially in the hips. But otherwise, they're pretty solid. Some Borderlands. I don't think I have all of them, but that's pretty damn close. So. Yeah, so that's one full corner we've gone over so far here starting from uh, the shelf I brought you in on here so so far we've gone through this now we'll get over here to some Marvel Legends <laughs> alright and this has been updated since the beginning of the year but here's my as guardian more or less type shelf here pretty badass and we got some spider-man down here it's pretty deep Full of Spideys and some J. Jonah Jameson. So, yeah, that's a pretty packed shelf there. Then we got some, uh, some of Spider Man's famous foes. Again, packed pretty tight. That vulture's literally just like, kind of just pinned in there. Just <laughs> there's nothing holding him up, but like a wish, <laughs> and it's working. Yeah, love these too, man. Pretty great shelf. All right, now we have some. Uh, Friends of Spidey's, and I guess kind of like Marvel Knight's shelf. I know this one just grew a little bit. We got Rage there, he's new. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And then below here. We've got pretty much my first appearance slash classic, I guess, shelf. 
I just put this one together recently. So that's pretty dope. All right, now we'll go up here. So that, that's just one shelf. And it's full. Now we're going to pretty much my Avengers shelf. Got a little bit of extra stuff up here. All right. There's a new one. The Black Widow. Looking good. The new Winter Soldier. Popped in there. card up there so yeah that's my Avengers the lineup running across the top there then come down this is kind of like uh, I don't know like Dark Avengers or Thunderbolts combined I don't know <laughs> anti-heroes whatever you want to call it Pretty cool little line up here. He's new. The uh, Mach 1. And then we got Spy Master. He's new. Crimson Dino Build a Figure's new. And down here we got like AIM. And, I mean, some of these characters probably aren't exactly part of AIM, but I had to stick them somewhere. It's not even a Marvel Legend, <laughs> but I needed a MODOK. And then we got some, uh, I guess, oh, I almost missed a shelf here. This is uh, pretty much like Kingpin's gang or hired hero, hired villains, assassins, whatever, henchmen. Tombstone, Ultimate Taskmaster, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Now we got some symbiotes here. Which I know I ain't got everybody. I'm going to switch out probably this Superior Octopus and put him back up with my Hydra. And stick me a back of black Deadpool there. But yeah. Gave the Red Goblin a glider. He needed it. So this is a pretty awesome shelf. Then right below is kind of the monsters and... You know, other Spider-Man villains. Here's the true Goblin. <laughs> With his glider. Ultimate Green Goblin. Then we got the Wolf Cap. Pretty cool vengeance back there. Jack o' Lantern. Of course, Dracula and Wolfman. Then on the very bottom here, we've got some Overwatch. Just kind of stuck it in there. But it made for a good shelf. They look pretty cool. I'm pretty sure they're done with these. Probably not going to do any more of them. Which is cool. Consider myself to have a full set. And I'm happy. I do have the variants. So. Alright, so that's just one side of this shelf. Get over here. Got pretty much, this is like my shield shelf here. I might need the light again. The old Winter Soldier, he just got stuck here. I mean, 
He's part of the gang now, I guess. Oh, there's our Target exclusive Black Widow. She's in here now. I need more of these guys for sure. Got the new backpack just sitting there chilling. <laughs> and I guess this would be my Hydra shelf here. Got some Hydra soldiers, new crossbones. He's there. I'm kind of excited to look at Hydra Soldier Bob. I'm kind of excited about the uh, the new cheaper versions of the Hydra Soldiers and stuff, the army building that they're going to start doing. That's pretty cool. Uh, this would be like my uh, Serpent Society and uh, Wrecking Crew style, I guess. Some bad guy combinations. See the Serpent Society obviously in there. And only two of the wreckers. But yeah, I don't have everybody. Sorry. Then below here we've got pretty much Hulk villains, I guess. And not just Hulk villains, but other classic villains. But we got Abomination and the new leader. Doctor Doom. Mastro. Absorbing man. Oh, there's the new Red Hulk. And then below that is I kinda I guess I consider this to be my McFarlane style Superman shelf. Or Superman Spider-Man shelf. Cause you know, McFarlane style Spider-Man and Venom. And then below that we have legendary heroes, or legendary comic book heroes. I only have half of what they kicked out. I know there's another full wave to build like this monkey man. And then there's a couple of other two packs. And uh, so yeah, or at least another two pack. But <laughs> it's crazy how much this sucker right here is going for right now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, I've had these since day one, since they were on the shelf, so... I had this guy for a long time. But yeah, he's easily... Somebody will easily give you 300 bucks or more for it right now. Alright, now... There was that whole... Area that we just went over. Marvel Legends style. I love my Marvel Legends, man. Now here I got my cosmic beings. Well, get over here. Surfer and Howard the Duck. King and Queen. There's that new build a figure there. And then our new Captain Marvel or Marvel that they call them. He's actually pretty awesome. A couple of these little sentinels or sentries, I mean. Cree sentries. Went ahead and threw death in there from the select. Our first return of Marvel Legends build a figure. Terex. Yep, that's the cosmic stuff. And I guess my proudest of all, really, is my X-Men here. And this would be, I guess, my 90s style X-Men. Or favorite style of X-Men, I should say. Pretty freaking awesome. Looks like my storm's slacking in there. It's like Archangel's slacking a little too. And then pretty much this would be like my brotherhood. <laughs> I 
Bad cat. Love that freaking mystique. And then my X Men and New Mutants shelf. Just kind of all the overflows <laughs> into one shelf here. Added Namor. I'm going to swap out that gun right there of Domino's. Give it to the new leader like I've seen Robo doing from the Foosh. Really good idea. And give her different weapons. So make her a little more hardcore. Because I think that the gun really is perfect for him. And then below here, we got some more X-Men bad guys. Like These are like the true villains of, you know, the X-Men. Mr. Sinister, Sauron, Mojo without a belly. <laughs> Alright, so that was that whole shelf then there. From the floor up to the cosmics. Alright, so there, like one big whole wall damn near, is Marvel Legends. It's sick. I love it. Okay, so down here, just for the hell of it, got a couple Ghost Riders chilling when the fireplace is on. That looks pretty cool. Uh, up here, Jazz Wears three quarter inch figures by the butt load. I've almost got all of these too. There's just a few stragglers out there I don't have. But all in good time, I hope. All in good time. All the building material I have, oh my god, it's not even funny. Some zombie Hulk here just because he needed somewhere to go. Just like these guys had to have somewhere to go. Oh, I'm getting cast in the shadow. Some Magneto love right here, because he is my favorite Marvel character. I have enough that I can make like a Magneto shrine. I had one at one time, but I decided to disperse some of my Magneto figures into other locations. Here's some Wolverine goodness here. Like these first three right here on the bottom are like some of Wolverine's first three earliest appearances. So that's pretty cool. Got some some 12 inch Deadpool or Daredevil there and then got the big NECA, another Deadpool down there. Uh, here's some of these little dudes. Funko I believe. Like little bobbleheads. And then we got over here some 12 inch, and then we got the uh, kind of TV series Marvel Legends. Punisher here. Loving it. The Defenders minus Iron Fist. <laughs> we got some riders up here. New Ghost Rider. Squirrel Girl, Wolverine here, sporting uh, X3 Beast coat, looking awesome. Some 12 inches, we got Thor, Iron Man, Captain America. Move over here, we got Spider-Man, but let's talk about this here. We got Cosmic Ghost Rider. Spider-Man, moving over, we've got... 
Black Suit of Spider-Man and Black Widow sporting her bike. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Down here we got this Deadpool. Really crappy Weapon X one. And then on top of him we got Deadpool on his scooter. Looking pretty tight. Then Icons, 12 inch. She Hulk and Matt Murdock. Couple lawyers hanging out with the Fantastic Four. Window ledge style. I liked them. I didn't want to replace my original ones on my main shelf, but I liked these enough that I had to stick them somewhere. They needed to be seen. Down here, hiding under the light, we got Thanos and that really shitty cosmic Iron Man there. Down here. Just a little fun right here. We got some some black on black on black crime going on here. Loving it. With the icon Spider-Man there. Then we got like my gamer verse shelf that I'm starting because I have a feeling we're gonna be getting I mean I know we're getting the uh down under Hulk soon, so you know. This shelf will probably be asshole to elbow before it's all said and done. <laughs> so yeah, those are pretty tight. Come down here, we got Toy Biz goodness right here, back in the back there. We got some select Magneto, but here we got all these wonderful old school Toy Biz X-Men legends. So I love those. Glad I got to display them. Top shelf here, we're rocking 12 inch Wolverine, 12 inch Hulk. And Deadpool with a whole spray of Power Rangers lightning collection up here and I'm still missing some of these too can't wait to fill out the original Mighty Morphins that I got posted up front here okay so going over here here we got a Cyclops Rider old school stuff down here we got the uh, the Daredevil movie version here 12 inch and then we got what I like to call Hasbro Dark Days total crap figures right here but I went ahead and scraped a bunch of that crap together and flung it on here for you guys' entertainment because <laughs> they are crappy but I mean hey <laughs> they're still figures we gotta love them and down here oh no I gotta get that light out again here we go uh Zombie Magneto back there and some famous face-offs or greatest battles You know because this Wolverine Sabretooth weren't actually famous battles, but the other two were face-offs So anyway, I did my own thing there All right, then this shelf is Dragon Ball Supers Dragon Stars Got a nice little collection of them going here loving these I had to go through my toy room before I did this video and make sure that everything was actually intact and everybody was standing. Because <laughs> it took a lot of work to get all these guys and I didn't want to do a video and just see somebody laying down on the job. And down here we got some Hero Academia statues. That box in the back there is actually full of building materials from those Fortnite figs. So those are kind of cool. So yeah, we just went ahead and took a look at this corner here. The fireplace, windows, whole corner, that table, over here. I didn't show you up here though, but there's some game reverses up here. Some of the last of our three quarter inch stuff. And then over here, just completed this, finally after all this time, but I got my Scarlet Spider, so looking at this wall now is like so much better. There's that Hulk hiding behind that light, just blinding you. But yeah, that's my retros. Move across up here, I'll come back around. Here's the first wave of the retros. 
liking them. Some Deadpool. And we got here the X-Men ones. Can't wait for the Spider-Man ones to come out. Pretty dope. And then here's a MCU overflow shelf. Which has pretty much got at least one character of everybody that I have extras of. So, it's like my secondary favorite MCU shelf. Pretty cool. Got a lot of Iron Mans up here. Armors. And Tony. Tony Stank. So, yeah, there's my other MCU shelf. I'll get to the uh, main one here pretty soon. So working my way down, I'm going to go ahead and go over here because we started, you know, we're getting to there, but I just showed you those random Marvel Legends up top. Then we got some old school Jean. Don't know if the value for her is as high as it used to be, but... Uh, then we got Blade here, a Rider's Wave that I never opened because it's pretty awesome. Then we got an extra Wolf Cap. I don't know. Just decided to leave in there. And that one. The one I got, it broke. So I got another one. Never opened it. <laughs> uh, well, that's not supposed to be in here. That's not supposed to be in here. <laughs> See? Things happen. Not for kids. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, whoops. And this is my, like, accessories and stuff <laughs> and yeah it's just it keeps going and these are these are like here's overflow MCU figures in this shelf oh god it's like caught there we go yeah overflow MCU characters cause they you know, just gave us a shit ton of them <sighs> little diorama I got sent to by pretty cool guy Beacom Dean um, yeah, and to keep going, yeah, you see, it's accessories, build-a-figure stuff, never completed, down here, more accessories, and figures, I guess, little, but there's also, like, uh, I thought, anyway, maybe it's not this one, but I got those other Overwatch figures somewhere over here, and bagged up. Oh, they're in here. Just buried under there. <laughs> so much stuff. Batmobile. So, we're getting there. Uh, here's like, I guess my secondary X-Men shelf. <laughs> this is kind of my own little put together scene here. Some whips and stuff. Fodder. Magneto's pretty tight. Love the new Logan. Love my angel that I made back there, the blue angel. That's cool. And she's not done. I'm going to paint that leg solid black to match up. And I got the X-Jet. And then over here, I'm probably going to have to kill this light for this. Here's just kind of a assortment of Marvel char Marvel characters here. Some of the good ones that had to be forefronted, like the Bucky Cat Man. Come on, another Ghost Rider whip of mine. Pretty tight. Got me some select abomination back there. With that select juggernaut back there. Alright, so here's the ultimate, I guess, MCU shelf that I have put together. I'll just start over here with, like, my Wakandan people, the tribe. I mean, it's probably one of my biggest... Well, I don't know. I got a lot of foot soldiers from my Ninja Turtles, but otherwise, it's one of my other biggest armies that I have. 
so it's pretty tight. And we got Louise sitting back there chilling. See him? He's in the system. All right, now here we go. Got Red Guardian in there placed now. Those lights are gonna glare a little bit. It is mirrored in the back, so sorry guys. Worthy cap. Love this new Iron Man right here. That thing is sick. Him doll. Got MJ. Kind of like some agents and stuff back here. Then moving over. Let's see, there's her new Yelena chick. And then we got our Guardians of the Galaxy here. Looking pretty dope. So yeah, now moving down. I gotta sit flat on the floor here. <laughs> Here's the Hydra. Looking pretty awesome. I wouldn't mind getting some more of these guys. And we got crossbones here. And then there's some Scourge back there with Hela, Loki, Grandmaster. Isn't this dope? <laughs> the Black Order back there with Thanos. I got some scrolls here. Kind of just took the jacket off the other ones to modify them to look like they're just, you know. So, I'd probably do more of these if I seen them. Get some more of them. Army build. New Taskmasters in place. Looking pretty sweet. Ghost. Yellow jacket. Claw. And, uh... Oh, what's his name? <laughs> There's Ultron there. And, uh, dang, I don't know why I can't think of his name now. It just totally escaped my mind. Uh, some Spider Man MCU villains. With the uh, vulture in the back there. So, yeah, that is that. And I gotta get my big ass off the floor now. So, there's my famous MCU shelf and yeah that this is my main toy room uh, it's not that big so I definitely can't get this is only a crumb of my collection uh, there's just so much stuff yet that I have I just don't have room for it I mean if you look in here these boxes here that I have they say transformers on them those uh, all those boxes are full of transformers and then down in my basement, I have, like, <laughs> an endless amount of Star Wars Black Series that I haven't reviewed yet. So much stuff, man. But, so yeah, that's been my main toy room walkthrough. It's pretty awesome. This is definitely the place I come to and clear my head and just try to, you know, de dis you know <laughs> unattach myself of... You know, everything going on in society, and it's just a pretty cool place. And when it looks good like this, and everything's all put on the shelves, and everything's standing up and cooperating with you, it's just all the better. <laughs> because having figures laying down on you and falling on the floor just kind of puts you in a bad mood. But yeah, loving it. Thanks for checking out the video. Hope you guys like this. Let me know what you guys think. And, uh... You know, like, comment, and share. You guys know the drill. Master Marvel Lady here. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will catch you guys later. Peace. My fingers in there. There we go.